my family always raised me to try to be tough. If they would happen to see me like as a kid playing with Barbies, they would take away that Barbie and like pass me like a male toy. I've had a lot of experiences where people have told me like there are certain things I couldn't do because I'm a girl. Like construction, for example. Um, I'd be like, oh, there's a lot of money in construction. I should do that. But my dad would be like, oh, no, it's not suitable for girls. That's why you can't do that. I like building things. I like putting up drywall. I like painting. I think a lot of people portray me as like a really girly girl. And like, I like dressing up and stuff. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I can't do that. Dad will take me out and just teach me the basics. He's, all right, son, I'm going to teach you how to jump a car today. But he, he's actually never taught my sister how to do that. Why does a girl need to learn how to jump a car? That's for guys. Why does a girl need to learn how to mow a lawn? That's a guy thing. Well, I come from a Latino family, and you know, in my dad's eyes, a woman has to work, has to clean the house, they have to take care of the kids, they got to wash the dishes, and that's what women are for. I was really interested in hip-hop culture, and I really like drawing and writing, so I could do like this type of graffiti art. But it's like, basically it's like, you can't do that stuff because you're a girl. I've had guys come up to me where they're like, oh, who did that for you? I'm like, I did it myself. There's been a lot of activities that I wish I could do. Like for example, there was a, they were holding this yoga class in my school, you know, but since I saw a bunch of girls taking it, like a lot of girls taking it, and like, I would be the only dude. I have like, like somebody inside of me telling me like, don't, because you'll later regret it. I actually felt kind of awkward being in theater at first because I thought, oh, this is a very gay guy thing, which I'm wrong. I mean, I was wrong. Admittedly, I was wrong. In fact, I'm the only one that we know of that's gay. We'll see. In lower school, I participated in a choir, and I was sort of just one of the few guys in there, one of the three guys. And so people are like, oh, he's gay, and you know, he's a pussy, he sings. I mean, I stopped, I mean, because, I mean, at a young age, when people make fun of you, it really gets to you. I mean, I really enjoyed being in the choir, and it was a lot of fun. And it would have been nice to, you know, go for a few more years.